Hi, I'm Chris West. To celebrate the bicentenary of the birth of the greatest double bass player of all time, Giovanni Bottasini, I've spent lockdown researching and writing a new biography of the great man. It's called The Paganini of the Double Bass, Bottasini in Britain, and it's available from Amazon using the link below. So I thought I should do a video on the subject of Bottasini. This video is aimed at advanced players who are learning his music for the double bass. In it, I'm going to show you a special handshake you can use to play some of the arpeggios in Bottasini's music. Once you know this trick, you'll find it much easier to play some of the passages that people have difficulty with. If you're playing Bottasini, you have to learn how to play an arpeggio up to top G like that. You can read some tips about how to do that in my book on thumb position, Reaching the Heights. But if you're not going all the way to the top, there's another way of playing G major arpeggios that is better in some circumstances. In my video about the minor arpeggio secret, I showed how you can safely shift from G B to B E without changing your hand size. Now once you're there with a two on E, there are three harmonics we can play without shifting. One on D, you can stretch out and straighten your third finger to get this top G. And then under the thumb is a high B. So now we've got four notes from a G major arpeggio that we can play without shifting. The hand size is just slightly wider than when you play G to C in diatonic handshape. I call this the Bottasini connecting position because it joins together the two hand shapes we normally use when playing a G major arpeggio. Now when you're shifting in thumb position it's always more secure when the position you're moving from and the position you're moving to overlap by a note and in this case We've got the B that falls in the first two hand shapes and the G that falls in the top two hand shapes. So we've now got a super secure way of playing a broken G major arpeggio with these two very safe shifts. Now here's that exact broken arpeggio in the grand duo for violin and double bass by Bottasini. And I think if you try my fingering, you'll find it's easier than either shifting up and down the G string or trying to pick out a stopped B on the D string, as this edition suggests. When you're descending, it's even better, because as soon as you've played the last high D, you can shift back nice and early to get into position with plenty of time to hit the stop B in tune. Like this passage, which comes in the duet with clarinet. Or this passage, which comes right at the start of Concerto di Bivura and also in the Carnival of Venice. used to using this hand shape, you'll find that it's also the best way of playing the main tune from the Tarantella. Because you don't have to shift up to the top G, it gives you more time to come back into first position. And you might want to use it in that other masterpiece from Bottasini's early G major period, Sonambula. So this connecting position comes in all of Bottasini's early pieces. But don't forget, we've also got this stopped E, which we haven't used yet. And we can play that in an E minor arpeggio, which Bottasini uses in his later pieces. So here's a passage from the clarinet and double bass duet 
that uses some G major and E minor arpeggios next to each other. And you can play them all just with one shift up and down to the connecting position. And if we play a third finger on C before doing exactly the same shift, then you've got a C major arpeggio. And that comes in Fantasia Beatrice di Tenda. Except that then you have to go up to the top C, which you can play either by just a harmonic here. That's a bit flat, so we can tune it by putting the thumb down. Bottasini carried on using this position throughout his career. I think the last piece he ever wrote for double bass was the Allegretto Capriccio, sometimes known as Alla Chopin. It took me years to work out that you can play this tricky passage of arpeggios in E minor, B minor, C major and G major just by shifting in and out of the connecting position. Now you know what an important part of his technique this was. I expect you'll find other places in Bottasini's music where this connecting position is the key that unlocks more of his secrets. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like or subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to learn more about Bottasini's life and career, my biography of Bottasini is now available from Amazon. If you want to improve your technique in the higher regions of the double bass, my book on thumb position is available as a download or as a physical copy. Or why not come and study with me at beautiful Trinity Laban Conservatoire, the only music college in the UK that used to be a palace. Bye for now.